So these are the evolution of the latest mouse that I used so far. So the first one is the Logitech, rather, rather expensive mouse that I bought it for 50 or 60 uh, British pounds. I thought this is going to be one of the best and it's very sleek. My colleagues really hated using this when they borrowed it. But um, the biggest problem I had is the battery. So this has to be charged. It doesn't have any separate battery slot. So when, once you finish using it, when it's low battery, you have to charge it to make sure and you have to wait until it's fully charged. Otherwise you can't really use the mouse. So I find it really uh, not practical at all. So that's why I decided to move on to the Microsoft mouse, which I love it, uh, still love it. And the way how you turn it on is by bend it and it becomes the shape of a mouse. It also has the virtual zoom in and zoom out scroll as well. Uh, the problem I had have for this mouse recently is that it doesn't really connect well with the HP Pavilion and it doesn't suit visually, uh, it's not visually pleasing when it goes along with my HP laptop. So I decided to move on uh, to this uh, vertical mouse which the company is called the Jelly Comb. So you can get this for just under 20 British pounds at Amazon and I don't think many people actually have reviewed this product which is a bit of a shame because I think this is a brilliant product. So to start with this is about 75 to about 80 degree angled vertical mouse and it, not only does it have the standard, it's pretty much the mouse function of the left and right button. It has the zoom uh, scroll, zoom in and zoom out scroll, but it also has a DPI button as well, which is which why you, got, you can see the blue light blinking. I think that's what it represents, but you can actually adjust the uh, sensitivity of the mouse. On the th thumb side, you got the um, up down button as well, which feels quite nice very well like smooth a rub, bit rubbery but i just love the shape it just goes well with my hp pavilion design now i'm becoming like an all black uh, gadget uh, man um, on the bottom bottom of the of the product there's this wireless button which could go to wireless and bluetooth and this is the biggest point I actually uh, bought it for what i mean by that is i also tried the usb connector on it and also the Bluetooth, they were once or twice actually same as the uh, Microsoft Bluetooth mouse. There was a moment when it got disconnected, which now I'm starting to think that it's all down to the HP Pavilion software configuration, whatever it is, but it's disconnect, it disconnected. But if that happens, you always have a function um, option to slot this into one of the USB uh, which I have three of them for my HP Pavilion. But if you don't want to use it, you always have an option to actually take out the lid and then you put it inside the slot of where you can save it. But let's say for the worst case scenario, um, you carried it around with you or you happen to destroy uh, the USB uh, connector, then you can always use it as a Bluetooth mouse as a backup. And you can always buy it another one because it's only 20 uh, British pounds. So I really like the product. The only thing is, two things I want to point out is that it, when you press the left and right button, it feels kind of light. Um, maybe some people might like it. I wish there was a bit more like professional feel to it. And, in, and the mouse itself overall is light as well. But I see a lot of professional gaming mouse have weight and I can see the reason behind it is I think if feel much better using a heavier mouse but then again is it really um, carpal tunnel syndrome friendly or not now I don't have such syndrome I've actually been using mouse for a very long time using CAD but when I use a flat mouse indeed after two or three hours of constant use I do get this wrist strain kind of feel I actually played the Jellycomb with the Jellycomb mouse a Starcraft game for about constant three hours yesterday it hasn't really 100% you know, got rid of that thing, but it has vastly improved with the stiffness of using the stiffness of using the mouse. Uh, so I'm really pleased with it. It has a bit of a grip, a grip of pattern here as well, so it gives you more feel of this grip. And it looks like a sandwich that you could you want to put a ham inside and then eat it. <laughs> I love the design. I love the way how it's positioned. I um, I find it really easy to adjust as for the new design. It's pretty much a tilted 80 degrees, 75 to 80 degrees vertical mouse. And I think it's worth 
being highlighted on YouTube community. That's why I'm making a video highlighting this matter. And overall, it's just every time when I walk past by and see it with my HP Pavilion laptop, it looks like a team, a proper team, a set for a proper uh, techie guy. You know, so I'm, I'm really pleased with the design. Anyway, that's why I put it on Instagram. I hope you guys saw that. Um, anyway, so I hope this video represents what this mouse is all about. I would really like to see what other products are available at Jellycomb. They have really done well. It's a very competitive product, so well done for it. Anyway, so any queries, please do comment below. I hope that this video answered most of the queries and also the you've gone through the unboxing experience as well. All the best. Bye-bye.